So what's going on guys, Kades here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you the best Lost Arcs updated tier list in 2023. So this game in general has a bunch of fun classes to play and we have a very unique variety to choose from. But the big question is which classes can actually perform the best and do the highest damage and much more. So I've done a bunch of testing and here's the best tier list that you've been waiting for. So if this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. So then moving over to the first class which is the Bard and she gets to be in the S tier. So the Bard is a support class, she can use shields, attack buffs and heals to her allies which makes her very useful in raids and dungeons. The Bard is immobile and not an easy class as you must know the correct timing and placement of your supporting skills. But overall the Bard is a healer type of class that if you come from any other MMORPG then this is the closest thing to a healer that the game has to offer. Again I want to clarify that this is amazing support class that focuses on support and not damage. So then moving over to the second class which I will put at the S tier and it is the Paladin. So the Paladin is the support class. He has yellow and blue skills. Yellow skills will activate your support abilities and blue skills are meant for damage. As you are support class, you are wanted in any type of endgame content. Then as well the Paladin has the best damage boosting support in the game. But this class is not the easiest to pick up since you have to be very quick with the supporting skills and you have to be capable of placing them at the correct area and that's about it. So then moving over to the next class which is the Scrapper and we want to put her right next to the Paladin. So Scrapper has two ways to play this class. The first build has low high damage skills and it's called the Shock build. Or then the second one is more mobile with consistent DPS type but a bit lower damage and it's called the Tayutsu. Both playstyles deal around the same damage in a long run. So overall this is a easy class to pick up. The different mana bars might feel weird at the start but it won't be too difficult to get used to. So then for the fourth class we have the Sorceress and she gets to be in the S tier. So Sorceress is a typical mage class that focuses on casting spells. In PvE she has two builds where you can have good sustained DPS and mobility or you have a huge amount of burst but very little mobility. This class has very short dodge skills. The main issue is that if you get focused you don't have that many tools to deal with the enemy and the hardest part about the Sorceress is decision making for both PvP and PvE. Due to the lack of mobility, you have to position yourself carefully, but if you get used to it, then you will be able to do super high DPS. So then for the last S tier class, we have the Striker. So Striker is a fast paced brawler class, he deals quick hits and does pretty high DPS. This class is very similar to the War Dancer, but he is just a bit slower. Overall this is a great class with a nice attack speed buff for the whole team and he has a very fun bursty playstyle that will deal consistent damage in PvP and PvE. So then moving over to the next one which is the Gunlancer and we won't include him right in the A tier. So Gunlancer is the tankiest class that the game has to offer. This class makes the PvE content far easier. You can face the boss head on making it easy for your teammates to hit the enemy from behind. Do keep in mind that this class also does good damage. It's very safe and easy class to pick up and play. So overall if you're a solo PvE player or if you're looking for the closest thing to a tank build in Lost Ark then this is the class for you. So then for the next class we have the War Dancer and she gets to be placed right in the A tier. So War Dancer is a fast paced fighter class. In PvE she deals quick hits and does pretty nice DPS. For your playstyle you have to charge orbs to deal your highest damage numbers. Most people use no orb engraving for easier playstyle but it's up to you. Overall this class is hard to master but easy to pick up. In general the War Dancer is a great class with nice attack speed buff for the whole team and much more. So then for the next one we have the Artillerist and he gets to be placed right next to the War Dancer. So Artillerist is a slow gunner class. He has insane damage and can even summon a bunch of turrets that will boost your DPS even more. This class is tanky yet very sluggish. So many people won't find him as fun or easy to get into. I don't recommend to play this class for a new player. But if you're experienced and don't mind the slow gameplay then this is the class for you. So then for the next class we have the Shadow Hunter and I will place him right in the A tier. So the Shadow Hunter is a demon based class. 
In PvE, she plays more like a fighter rather than assassin. She has really good range on skills and damage. There are two ways to play this class. The first build focuses on demonic form where you get bunch of fun abilities to use, but then you get a bit less damage. Or then the second build disables the demon form, and you purely use your human form skills for the highest damage possible. So overall this is a fairly easy class to pick up and learn. The playstyle of the Shadow Hunter is super fun, and you will be able to do a bunch of damage. So then for one of the last classes that gets to be in the A tier, and it is the Gunslinger. So Gunslinger is one of the hardest classes to learn for PvP and PvE. This class is similar with the Dead Eye but still very different. Gunslinger mainly uses his rifle to do damage. He is easier to play than Dead Eye and can reach full damage potential very fast. He has a lot of utility and mobility that makes this class very strong and if you play it right then you will do a really good amount of damage. So then for the next class we have the Deadblade that gets to be placed right next to the Gunslinger. So Deadblade is a rogue slash assassin type of class. She has great damage, good debuffs and overall performs very good. In general Deadblade is very mobile class, fairly easy to pick up and play and most importantly with the right build you will be able to do super high damage. And by the way after you are done watching this video I have made full in-depth guides for every single class in Lost Ark. So if you're interested in the highest damage build for each class, then scroll through my channel and you will find exactly what you're looking for. And then for the last and final A tier class and we have the summoner. So this is a class that deals with summons. She still uses some skills that do a lot of damage as well. She is a very nice class to learn in raids because you're always dealing damage. In PvP this class is annoying to deal against and a strong backup for any team composition. She is very immobile and easy class to pick up and do very well for any beginner or veteran player. So then moving over to the next class which is the Reaper and we want Encloder right in the B tier. So Reaper is a true assassin class. If you enjoy a rogue type of class then this is the one for you. She has a lot of stealth, teleports and poison based attacks. Reaper as well has two different playstyles. One is the burst mode with the moon engraving. Or then the second one is the sustained DPS that uses the thirst engraving. Difference is little between these builds but overall I would recommend the moon setup. This class has very good DPS. In PvP she also feels very good and fun class to play with. And then lastly most skills will move you so she is a super mobile class and probably one of the fastest classes in the game. So then for the next class we have the Destroyer that gets to be placed right next to the Reaper. So Destroyer is a very slow but very hard hitting class. He has a lot of shielding from his skills and he can do crazy amount of damage. In general Destroyers are very good, fun and not hard class to pick up and learn. Usually you won't be playing as the disruptor slash engaging role because you have a lot of knockdown super armor skills which makes you really good at sticking to your enemies and much more. So then for the next one we have the Berserker and he gets to be placed right in the B tier. So Berserker is a bit slow class that deals massive amounts of damage. Generally this class is regarded as one of the top performing classes for solo and group content. His identity skill is a burst mode that gives him boost in power and a special skill to use. So overall this class is very easy to pick up and learn. In PvE if you're using one of my two builds then you will be able to do crazy amount of AoE damage. So then for one of the last classes that gets to be in the B tier and it is the Solfest. So the Solfest identity is very unusual. She has three paces that you can put it in. Each pace makes her stronger and stronger. If you run out of mana then you have to regenerate to full before you can cast again. Overall this class has the strongest awakening skill in the game and it is really good class just by the pure damage numbers themselves. And then for the last and final B tier class we have the Sharpshooter. So the sharpshooter is a bow user type of class. If you just take a look at the raw damage numbers, this class does more damage than few other classes in the A tier, but it's only good for pure damage. Besides anything else, you can't really offer anything to your team. So by counting in the playstyle, no buffs or stagger, so that's why he's in this B tier even after the new changes. So then for the next class we have the Arcana, more commonly known as Arcanist and she gets to be placed right in the C tier. So Arcanist is a mage class that uses dark magic cards. She has RNG mechanics in her identity skill 
which can make your damage fluctuate in certain fights. This is definitely not an easy class to pick up and play, but if you know how to use it to your best advantage, then you will be able to do crazy amount of damage. The Arcanist main playstyle is to build up stacks and then do big damage with red skills. So then for the next class we have the Scouter, aka the Machinist, that gets to be placed right in the C tier. So when you play Machinist, you technically play two characters at the same time. You can use Joan skills while casting Gunner skills, but you can't cast skills that are Joan and Gunner combined. There are two ways to play this class. One is based on transformation, legacy engraving, and the other one being focused on the Joan. This is a very cool class, especially with his identity skill that gives him very unique and fun playstyle. So if you want to become the Iron Man in Lost Ark, then this is the class for you. And then for the last and final C tier class, we have the Lance Master, aka the Glavier. So, Glavier is a spear building class. He's very fast paced, that has to swap between two different weapons, but he's easier to manage than the die. The Glavier has to charge three bars and then swap to the other weapon to get a huge damage boost. This is the only class with a real counter skill that is very useful in raids. So, overall, I really do recommend for every single player to at least try this class out. And then moving over to the last class in this 21 class tier list, which is the Dead Eye, and we want to place him right in the D tier. So Dead Eye in PvE is a hard hitting class that uses three different weapons. The main DPS weapon is the shotgun. This class is strong. It can be even top DPS if you manage everything perfectly. The issue with this class is that it's super squishy. It's very easy to get killed while using your shotgun skills. Overall, this is a very hard class to pick up and get used to, and in the end game, it will require low ping to perform to its maximum potential. So with that said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or maybe you have a different idea about a class on this Lost Ark tier list, then you are feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. Like I said in the middle of the video, if you like any of these classes and if you're looking for the highest damage build, then I have made a specific guide for every single class, so just scroll through my channel and you will find the best build for you. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell. So this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With that said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace.